My name is Alex and this is Elite Jamaica. In the video today, we will be taking a look at the top 10 most dangerous islands in the Caribbean. For millions of Americans, the Caribbean is a dream vacation destination. Sky blue waters, white sand beaches and a laid back tropical vibe make for the ideal getaway. But a less pleasant reality sometimes lurks behind the picture perfect image. Like any place, the Caribbean has its dark side. Poverty and crime happen in paradise too, though often away from the sun-glazed eyes of tourists. But sometimes, violence and vacations intersect, as they did in Cancun recently, when authorities discovered eight bodies in a remote area of a popular resort city on the Caribbean Sea. Cancun has seen a spike in violence in recent months, and though vacationers are rarely targeted, Concerns about crime have had an impact on tourism. While much of the Caribbean is perfectly safe for cruise ship, day trippers, and resort bound honeymooners, there are some areas where increased caution is warranted. These are the most dangerous Caribbean islands and countries, based on warnings from the US State Department and crime statistics. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro is blocking life saving humanitarian aid from getting into his collapsing country. Number 10. Jamaica. Jamaica is the sixth most popular international destination for U.S. travelers, but the State Department warns visitors to use caution in the country, especially when visiting certain areas. Spanish Town, as well as parts of Kingston and Montego Bay, should be avoided because of crime. Sexual assaults occur frequently, even at all-inclusive resorts, warns the U.S. government. In 2017, six U.S. citizens were murdered in Jamaica, 20 were robbed and 12 were raped or sexually assaulted, according to the Overseas Security Advisory Council. Number 9. Dominican Republic The number two destination for Americans traveling abroad, the Dominican Republic is generally safe, but visitors should be extra cautious, the State Department warns. To stay safe, Keep aware of your surroundings, avoid obvious displays of wealth, and don't resist if someone tries to rob you. Number 8. Trinidad and Tobago Crime and terrorism are concerns in Trinidad and Tobago, where the State Department says US citizens should stay extra alert to stay safe. Visitors should avoid Laventil, Beetham, Sea Lots, Cockerite, and the interior of Queen's Park, Savannah, in Port of Spain. The Canadian government notes that violent crime is a far bigger concern in Trinidad. Cruise ship passengers should be careful if they are visiting the Port of Spain. The sister island of Tobago is relatively safe. Number 7. The Bahamas Technically, the Bahamas aren't part of the Caribbean. Though this island archipelago is often grouped with the region and is a popular stop on Caribbean cruises, violent crime can be an issue, even in tourist areas, warns the State Department. Jet ski operators have sexually assaulted tourists and visitors should avoid the over the hill area in Nassau after dark. Number 6. Puerto Rico Puerto Rico's capital of San Juan pops up on the list of most violent cities in the world, with a murder rate of 48.7 per 100,000. Though I, that murder rate is still lower than that of mainland US cities Detroit and St. Louis. Most areas that tourists visit are safe, however, Puerto Ricans will also welcome your dollars as the island is still recovering from last year's devastating hurricane. Number 5. Belize Tourists should be cautious in Belize because of crime. The tiny country is a popular and pretty destination, but it actually has one of the highest murder rates in the world. Most homicides happen in Belize city and tourists are rarely targeted, though there have been a few high-profile murders of vacationers. In 2016, a producer at an ABC affiliate station in Chicago who was killed while on vacation and a former US Marine and his girlfriend were murdered in 2017. Number 4. Haiti The US government urges citizens to reconsider travel to Haiti, the second highest travel warning it issues. Crime and violent protests pose a risk to visitors. 
Travelers have been targeted and attacked shortly after arriving at the Port-au-Prince airport. Number 3. Honduras The State Department also suggests that US citizens reconsider travel to Honduras. The country has one of the highest murder rates in the world. While tourist areas like Row 10 are less violent than other parts of the country, they are not crime-free. Since 2010, 52 US citizens have been murdered in Honduras. Number 2. Nicaragua US citizens should avoid traveling to Nicaragua because of crime, civil unrest and limited availability of health care, says the State Department. Violent protests have rocked the country and the US has evacuated non-essential government personnel. In any case, the country's Caribbean coast isn't terribly appealing. It has been called a dense and inhospitable plain of tropical forest, impenetrable and very wet. Though the Corn Islands are an exception, if you want a relaxing beach vacation, look elsewhere. Number 1. Venezuela In case you haven't been following the news, now is not a good time to be vacationing in Venezuela. Crime, violent protests and shortages of food and medicine make for an incredible and stable situation. While the country's Caribbean coast boasts unspoiled bays and isolated hamlets, you are probably better off waiting to explore them until things calm down. Thank you for joining me again guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica and turn on notifications so you never miss any of my updates.